Hey, what goes through your mind in those, those 55 seconds when you're running? Is it, do you have a little song playing or <laughs> are you talking to yourself? Uh, or what? Uh, well, the first part, when when the gun goes off, it's just muscle memory. You just go off and then you is run. You, is your head knees. screaming? Go, no. <laughs> no? I'd be worried. That, does that happen with you? Well, I think if I was going all out, yeah. I think something like that I've, goes I've off. No, Andy, you'll waste, to talk to if you, if you'll you waste a lot of energy if you did that, if you tensed up. No, but yeah. in my head, yeah. just in my head. Okay. Mm-hmm. Perhaps yeah, I'll I mean, that, that's a, it's it's interesting because there's always some something going on in your head. Right. So anyway, yeah. muscle memory. Yep. Yeah, it's muscle memory up to the point where, you know, uh, where the lactic acid kicks in. And then that's where your race plan then follows. So you know what to do. And I think with a hurdles race, which what I do 400 hurdles as well, is that you have to be very conscious about everything. Like if the, you get hit win, you have to adjust your steps. If you get tail win, you have to adjust your How steps. How many steps do you do in between each? Um, for the first seven hurdles, I do 15 steps in between. And then I switch over to 16. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a lot of, you have to be very precise. And if you come too close to the hurdle, then you shuffle and then you slow down. So yeah, breaks the rhythm, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, you're counting uh, when you're running to make sure that you hit that uh, I 15, don't count 15, anymore. 15, it's just 15, a, 15. a pace that uh-huh. you get the feeling of the pace you run, and it, which is why it's muscle memory. And then it's only, you just you have to be conscious about the wind, the track surface, um, and then a little bit of who your competitors. So yeah. when did it really hit you that you'd won? At the Sea Games, I mean, like when I got the silver. Um, yeah, like I mean, like right when you cross the line, or is the next day you realize that whoa, what have I done? No, uh, I so I was third in the race up till the last hundred where I uh, I overtook the tie, so I came in second, and I mean the moment I crossed the line, I was just like okay, then I made I turned around and counted the rest of the people. I was like okay, I'm really second, and then <laughs> and then it was just relief. I I was just. Uh, because I was injured, I was so injured going into the Sea Games, I, I was worried about delivering. And to be able to clock a personal best, a national record, and then get the silver in front of home crowd, was just amazing considering like the odds um, that were definitely not in my favour. So, uh, yeah, it was just making sure that it was tr- I truly did get second. And then after that, it was just like, I don't know, I just, then I was like, okay, like this was what I was supposed to do. And then I was just like, okay, that's it.